all right welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to change the oil in your car um the subject of this video is as you can see um my 2004 audi a4 it's a v6 with the 1.8t uh everything you're going to need is going to be listed in the description down below but i'm going to show you some of the things now you're going to need a screwdriver to get the belly pan off this may be different on your car if you've got one of these you're definitely going to need it basic tool set i don't know off the top of my hand what size socket it is to get the drain plug off this car but i'll let you know that when i get down there you need a way to get the car up off the ground a set of ramps or a jack is easiest well ramps are easiest a jack really not so much but maybe safer depends on you you're going to need your oil and an oil filter and then you're going to need something to catch the oil so let's go ahead and get started The first thing to do is once you're under the car is you need to remove this belly pan here and it's only quarter turn regular uh, regular bits like like so you'll need to turn them a quarter of a turn there are three of them this one is completely not even doing anything All right, after you got that off, now would be a good time to um, see if you have any leaks while you're under here and it looks like there's some kind of something coming from right over here, which is nice. Um, your drain plug is gonna be right here. Okay, once you finally figured out the right size bolt and it is a 19 millimeter, Make sure you got something to catch the oil with and then take it off. In a little bit and I'm going to prove. All right. Once all the oil drains out, you want to give you can give it a few minutes if you want to make sure all of the old oil is out. Um you're going to put the drain plug back in and we'll move up top on the car and we'll uh, tackle getting the oil filter out because it's quite an interesting uh, prospect on these cars from what I see. Um, you want to take that oil out. You're going to take it out. Um, most auto part uh, stores, at least in the U.S., I'm sure probably in Europe and everywhere else they do too, uh, recycle oil free of charge. So uh, make sure you get that recycled. Don't put it places that it shouldn't go so we're gonna get back to it okay that's it for down here all right we're back on the top side of the car and the oil filter is way down in there um, I seen some stuff online saying that if you remove the coolant overflow um, that it's really easy to get at it so that's what we're gonna do here and power tools help but you guys wouldn't believe I got this for $25 didn't come with a battery but $25 $25 just just oh. okay don't want to lose that screw overflow just kind of pops out it's only held in there with like two clips and it just kind of pops out and you can move it off to the side like so okay you can just barely now when I say barely barely see the oil filter it's right there um it should only be hand tight we're gonna test that theory You'll see if it's hand tight. Um, there will be oil in the oil filter, obviously. It's an oil filter. Okay, so it's proven to me that you need an oil filter wrench to get this thing off. At least this one that's on here. So I'm gonna try this, and once you got it out with the tool, um, it's 
kind of you just kind of hand uh, take it off with your hand you don't want to drop it like I did but there is our oil filter and um, something I can tell you to do is always make sure that the oil filter that you got is the same one made that mistake one time not fun at all um, but it is it's a man filter too what I got so uh, let's go ahead and change it okay so you want to clean everything up as best as you can because you're probably gonna make a mess like I did or maybe you won't make a mess maybe you're a baby boy. I made a mess so clean up your mess if you made one I made one and now you're time you're ready to put the new oil filter on the car um, this is going to be hand tight and what you want to do is take a little bit of oil and you want to put a little bit of oil I mean I've already got a little oil on my hand and get on there there we go a little oil put oil all around this little rubber seal here and there you go and just put it back and put it back hand tight So, you want to get it hand tight, it's in a very awkward place. Just as tight as you can with your hands. And once you did that, there you go. And you're going to replace your coolant overflow tank, which it, it seems I need some more coolant. back in the back and just put it back in where it came from okay that's back where it was move that out of the way and if you're not doing an oil change on uh, specifically uh v6 a4 um check your owner's manual or online find out how much oil your car takes this car takes four and a half quarts so you want to do about that check your dipstick well it's not going to really matter if you check your dipstick and the car is off the ground but you get the idea check your dipstick find out and yeah and again make sure you have the correct oil for your vehicle that again will be in your owner's manual or Google is your best friend. So you can just kind of eyeball it. A funnel would probably be good for this, but anybody got time for that. And that's right at half a quart. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the car down so I can move it for one out of this lovely oil pedal that I've made. And basically at this point anyway, the oil change is done. Uh, like I said, you do want to check your oil, make sure you have enough in your car, your specific application, and put everything on the bottom back as it came out. And that's going to be it. Thanks for watching and go ahead and subscribe for future videos on this car and also on the B8 and this Corvette here that you guys still have yet to see. Have a good one.